fans, and welcome. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway. And on the hill here today, Eddie James. Singy, he was impressive his last time out. So dominant, only gave up one hit. And I know in the back of his mind, he's thinking about how close he came. But he's got to forget about that and focus on his opponent in this one. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's a speed threat, G1 Bay. And a pitch. That one finds the zone, and this one is off and running. First pitch, 120. The pitch. Strike two. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, one away. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. He's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Chris Sherman, the next pirate to hit. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. No score just getting started, top of the first. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Next offering is foul back. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Witt settles under it and makes the catch. And there are two down. Here's a Pirates lineup now. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Down in order, go the Pirates. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No school. Major League Baseball is on the show. Second inning set to go at the plate for Pittsburgh. Peyton Burdick. The right fielder. Peyton Burdick. James back to work. There's the swing and a miss. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls. And as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And that's the first out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Henry Davis. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And there's a foul ball. And the old one. Now one and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. 
next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there are two outs. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball and step out of the box, agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Here's Chavis now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. And here it comes. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0-2. Get him yourself right here. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The big right, he strikes out the side. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here at Wrigley Field, and now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Lonnie White. The center fielder, Lonnie. The wide of the pitch. Got it started a little too early, strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Hit weakly on the ground. Grabs it barehanded and very nicely done for the out. Got it done. The second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Hoy Park. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the right hander deals. Out to short. Triantos handles the chance. That's the third out. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Wrigley Field, now G1 Bay. James, back to work. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases. And pick up a run. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Right the to start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Now the number two hitter, Chris Sharp. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh and, on and a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Bucks go down quietly, and we are still scoreless. 
back here at the friendly confines. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's going to be Peyton Burden. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Now back. Henry Davis now at the plate. His first at bat was a strikeout. In there, and it's on one. Now, this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0 2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. Now, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Michael Chavis. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And the righty deals. Late that time, and it's strike two. And this is a guy originally drafted as a shortstop. He's got big time power. The next pitch misses, and that is ball one. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. The Pirates yet to pick up a hit here. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Down in order, go the Pirates. Still no score. And welcome back. Top six at the plate for Pittsburgh. Lonnie White. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. The wide of the pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Goals racing over to make the catch. Leover Piquero, the next pirate to hit, grounded out his first time. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he deals. Strike two. One down, base is empty. Just missing there. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Two outs, base is empty. And now Hoy Park grounded out his first time. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. There's a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Or something maybe down in the dirt. Next offering is foul back. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that is that. So he's perfect through six. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. And we still have no score. Welcome back. And here is G1 Bay. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, he hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. And fouled off. The tying run at the plate. Bounce to the left side. On the run, sends it over to first. And a quick out, number one. With 
So digging in, Chris Sharp. On the ground to first. Gomes steps on the bag, barely got him for the out close play. Up next for the Pirates, Key Brian Hayes. Bounce back to the mound. And that is that. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. They trail here, one nothing. We go to the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Peyton Burdick. Not a single base runner through the first seven innings for these guys. They've had no answer. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's blown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injure himself. The punch out there. First out in the top of the eighth. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just trying to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Davis batting with one down. Takes a strike. The 0-1. And a foul ball left side. The Pirates hitless so far in the game. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. I mean, trying to hit that pitch immediately after seeing a good fastball on the pitch before. Just a brutal task, man. I, I don't need me this at all. You almost have to sit fastball and hope you get one you can put in place so you don't have to deal with the potential of seeing the knuckleball with two strikes. And it's Michael Chavis at the plate. First offering, and it just misses. Pitch. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. On to Gomes. And the Pirates go one, two, three. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. We go to the ninth at the plate for Pittsburgh, Lonnie White. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. And that's in for a strike. Cool. They'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Great catch, foul ground up against the wall. So up next, Leover Piquero. So much nervous energy all over the ballpark right now. It's palpable. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. In there for strike one. One run game here at the top of the ninth. And a swing and a miss. Two out. Simply said, this guy's playing the play right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series. We're just two games in, so hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at bats are just a little tough to watch right now. <coughs> two down now, and here is Hoy Park. And this is it. One out away from perfection. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. 
on the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. Clean and a miss. Got it. A perfect ending to a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever.